Hi everyone. So welcome. And today we'll be discussing the problem max or mix up from latest code forces round 742. So let's read out the problem statement and see the what the problem says. So Alice gave Bob two integers a and b where a is greater than zero and b is greater or equal to zero. Being a curious boy, Bob wrote down an array of non-negative integers with max value of all elements equal to a and the ZOR value of all elements of the array equal to b. So you need to find the length of the shortest array that Bob wrote. So you have not been given the array, you have to find the array that Bob wrote. Only you have been given that the max of the array is a and the ZOR value of the array is b, right? So how can we find this? So let's take an example. Let's let us see what the problem says. So it says that max is equal to a and zor is equal to b, right? So what does it mean? If max means that all the elements, like all the elements, what is max? Max is the smallest non-negative number that is not present in the array. So like 0, 1, 2, 3, up till a minus 1. All these numbers must be present in the array. Only then the max will be a. Of if all these numbers are present, then my max will be a. How? Let's see from a normal example. So let's take an example where the array is given to me is 1, 2, 3. Then the max for this array is 0. If I was given 2, 3 and 0 as an array, then my answer, the max would have been 1. So this is max, right? Um, many of you must be knowing about it. But here the problem is, so what are the total number of elements? Total, total number of elements here are, total number of elements in this array with the max a is a, right? Total number of elements is a. Like if I have elements from 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and the max max for this array comes out to be 4, then the total number of elements in this array will also be 4. This is quite clear to you all. So what, what you need to notice is that now you, are, you have been also given that the ZOR, ZOR of this array is B. So what you will do is you take, what you can do is first of all, take out the ZOR of this array from 0 to A minus 1. So from 0 to A minus 1, you can take out the ZOR of the array, right? So if, if, if the ZOR, if the ZOR of the array, ZOR of array comes out to be B, if the ZOR is B, if the ZOR is B, then that means that you do not need to add any extra number because for this array, the max is already A and the ZOR comes out to be A, ZOR comes out to be B like ZOR of all the elements comes out to be B then that means that you do not need to add any other number so this means the total number of elements in, in this array was A so my answer would be I'll be printing I'll simply print A that is the total number of smallest array with max A and ZOR B would have been size would have been size A right but what if what if what if I would have taken the array? What if I would have been I would have taken the array ZOR? What if I would have taken the ZOR and the ZOR does not come out to be B? If my ZOR is not coming out to be B, then that means that means what? If my ZOR does not come out to be B. So if I'll let's ZOR. So if this is the ZOR of the array and I ZOR it with B there can be two chances like for this it can be equal to a or it can be equal to a or it does not equal to a right so this is something that that is an intuition for us uh, first of all before this i would like to tell you one property of zor like if if you have one and you zor one with one so the answer comes out to be zero if you have two you zor it with two itself so the zor comes out to be zero 
that means this is the property of Zor that we could have used in this question that we are using in this question for sure. So what happens is you have to you have to your task is to get the Zor of the array as B right this much is this much part is clear. So if I have the Zor and I Zor it if I Zor it again then I will get a zero here right this is clear this is very basic as I have told you earlier but what if what if I Zor this with Zor and if I Zor the Zor XOR of the array with XOR B of XOR Zor of the array Zor B then there can be two possibilities if this comes out to be A if this value comes out to be A then what will happen is suppose that this value comes out to be A then that means that in my array if this value comes out to be A then the thing is that my array will have if this comes out to be A then the thing that will happen is my array would look something like this like it was from this much to this much and then I will need to add another element so this is A like, like then what will happen is this door and this door will cancel itself and one more element that will be add, get added in this array is A so what this will mean is that this will not give me max A then in that case max would not be equal to A since A will be present in the array then only the Zor can be A right but let's try and look at another case where what will happen is what if my what if I if I Zor and my Zor if my Zor of the array Zor B if this value does not comes out to be A if this value doesn't comes out to be A then that means that adding one element I can get a Zor of B why because if I will do Zor Zor if notice that if this does not equal to A if this value if this much value does not equal to A then what will happen these two will cancel they will be negligible so the Zor comes out to be V which we wanted and the max is already A so that means that you inserted an element XOR B where XOR is the total Zor overall Zor of the array and you inserted a new element XOR B in the array this is the new element this is the one new element that you inserted in the array and because of that the overall Zor came out to be B which we wanted and notice that the max was earlier A so in this case what will happen is you will simply you will simply say that you need one more element so total there from 0 to up till a minus 1 there will there were a elements and additionally what you did was you added one more element x or b so that you can get max as a and zor as b right so total number of elements here would be a plus 1 a elements from 0 to a minus 1 and then another element zor xor of zor b that is the element that we added now there can be another case where my xor zor b is equal to a in that case what will happen is this means because of this what will happen is now our max will not be max cannot be a because this means that a must be present in the array so what we can do is instead of adding this what we can do is we can add xor b zor y where y is any random number so what will happen now is if you have this number in the array then simply it means that you need to insert two numbers in the array like what which what will be the two numbers so my earlier zor was xor right and now i am adding this element xor uh, XOR, uh, let me write it once more for simplicity so XOR Zor that is Zor of the array Zor B Zor Y this is the first new element this is the first new element and another I need to add another element 
notice that these two will get cancelled so I'll have B's or Y but I want my result to be B so which number should I add which number should I which is the second number should I add to the array which is the new number or the second number that I should insert to the array this is the second new number that I should insert in the array such that Y and Y ZOR together will cancel each other so only B will be left and that will be the ZOR that we required and this will not affect our max so max was earlier A so what what our array, the new array would look like is from 0 to A minus 1 there were A elements and then you added two more elements XOR B and you added XOR B XOR Y where Y is any random number and you added Y as well so you added Y as well so these were the two numbers you added and because of this what will happen is my max will be equivalent to A and my XOR will be equivalent to B so this is the case where my answer will be A plus 2 where A is the total number of elements from 0 to A minus 1 then these two elements that I added so these were the three test cases that we needed to keep in mind so now you will say that what's the big deal we can take the XOR of the array each time uh, whatever we numbers we get from 0 to a minus 1 we can calculate this or each time but that is not the case since you have been given a 3 into 10 to the power 5 and t 5 into 10 to the power 4 so that means that if you will calculate the XOR of the array each time then you will get a time limit exceeded so I will quickly show you the code and show you the approach how you can solve the problem so what you will do is you will you will initialize x to 3 into 10 to the power 5 plus 7 uh, you can take 3 into 10, 10 to the power 5 plus 1 that is also fine then what you will do is you will initialize all the elements of the array as 0 and then what you will do is you will pre-compute the XOR of all the elements of the array and such this is the reason this will help us in removing the TLE so now if you in take in P and Q as input where P is A and Q is B then if for the current if the XOR of all the elements of the array is equivalent to B then I will print A or P I can say then if my A or P I am taking P in this case if my XOR of whole array XOR B is not equal to A then I can take one more element and that that is I can insert one more element that is XOR of whole array XOR B as a new element and then I then that is I'll get P plus one elements and that will be my shortest answer shortest array with max as A and XOR as B otherwise as we have discussed we will have P plus two elements because we'll need to insert two elements that is XOR of whole array XOR B XOR Y and another element Y to take the XOR as B and max as A so this was the question and this is the accepted code so in case if you have any query you can put them in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you